Hi everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up your Sanwa M17 controller to your receiver. Then I'm going to show you how to set up and calibrate your LRP Flowex Pito. And at the end of the video I'm going to show you a really cool feature about the LRP Flow X. So I hope you guys tune in and enjoy and stay until the end to find out this really cool feature that probably most of you do not know about. If you would like to see more RC content on my channel, RC tips, blogs, and anything based around RC, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and make sure the bell is on so you don't miss any of my future videos. To go through this process with you guys, I need the Sunwa M17 controller, tool driver, whatever, it doesn't matter the size and of course the car with the battery inside and everything already set up for racing all right so the first thing we do is set up a new model i already have a new one selected now we'll rename the model so we go here name and then basically we name the model as we wish Rename the model, we press change, and now we need to get our car. Now, after we have the name ready, we have to go to the system menu, go to bind section. I am using the RX481 receiver, so this will be the FH40, the brand new receivers from Sanwa are working with FH5. Then Change steering to SSR, that's the mode Power HD S15 uses. And now we need to get the 1.5 mil driver. Press the bind button on the receiver, turn on the car. We can see it's flashing now, so we need to press bind here, bind again, and the car should be ready. If you are still watching, I hope you are. Let me know down in the comments section below what do you miss the most about RC racing during these days. But for now, let's go back to the video. Before calibration of the speedo, we have to make sure that the dual rate for throttle and brake are at 100% and the curve for the throttle is at 0%. Before we start, we need to turn on the car and have our radio turned on as well. And now, without touching the radio, we press and hold the set button, so the button on the right side, until a blue and a green light flashes. When it does, we release it and press, while not pressing anything else on the radio. Now it's the throttle setting, so we go all the way forward and press the set button again. And when it flashes red and green, Press brake all the way and press the set button again. And now your speedo should be calibrated. A quick disclaimer guys, if you want to check out how to set up your speedo and see what the changes make and uh, what are the differences, go and check out Trishbit's channel. He made a really cool video about all the settings, so make sure you check it out and then you can learn how to set up your speedo. All right, so there are overall 10 blinks on speedo and the motor. Each blink means about five degrees Celsius of temperature. The 10th blink is the theoretical cutoff temperature. So when your motor or the speedo gets really hot. So let's say you have like seven on your speedo. That means you're 15 degrees below the theoretical cutoff temperature of the speedo. And same goes with the motor. To help you guys understand this really cool feature on the LRP Speedo, I made this little graph here to help you understand how this option works. So it turns out you don't even need a temperature gun to check your Speedo and motor temperature. It's really cool, right? To check the temperature of your LRP Speedo and the LRP motor, first you have to press and hold the mode button. Then you have to turn on the car and you can see the green lights flashing. As you can see it is slowly flashing once each every time. This means the speedo has only one flashlight and then you have to press it again 
to see the temperature of the motor and you can see it is flashing four times a bit faster this means the motor has four blinks of temperature that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new from me if you did give a like comment and subscribe and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any of my future videos so you can learn something else about rc see you guys